everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. You know, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Ducks have won the draw, and we are now underway. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. There's another consecutive save. Gaining steam here on the attack. Knocked around, but keeps it going. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Sends the feet in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. McCann's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Ducks gain possession. Oh, that goes off his helmet. Hopefully he's okay. Well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. And a little body contact on that play. And a great save. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. And he's ridden off the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Anaheim's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Shot! Denies him in close. Moves it to Bjorkstrand. Gains the zone from the right side. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Veneers wasn't expecting that huge hit. You have to be aware of your surroundings, in particular where your opponent in the traffic is on the ice. of the period. Still no score in this one. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Fires it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. Dishes it off again here. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Rocked him in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. And that's poked away by Larson. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. And that pass attempt is deflected. Slides it quickly to tip it. Moves the puck along the half wall. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the puck sails into the bench, forcing a stoppage of play. Veneers is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. 
Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Spectacular kick save there. Michaels ready to take the draw here on this power play. Anaheim's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Handles the pass. And makes the save. The Kraken have the puck shorthanded. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Moves it on over to Tippett. To the low slot. To the oh, a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Richards will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Seattle's won the draw. And that's a smart heads up play. Trying to gain a step. Oh, what a save! Seattle's got it across the line. Great read with the stick. Quick feed to Johns. Here's a chance. Makes the save with the blocker. Keeps possession. Puck move back to center, forcing them to regroup. Alexiak's almost out of the box. Here's a chance! Seattle's oh, a beautiful save on the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender's so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. He's going to have to keep his head up, James. I mean, he caused that injury on hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Rocks him on the play. And that big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. on that save again. I want to see it because in real time, I thought that puck was going in, James, but he manages to find it. Now, listen, you don't make those saves in practice. You know why? You don't have that level of desperation. This is urgency. This is instincts, and he makes an unbelievable stop. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Back to the point it goes. And he takes the pass. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. From the boards, he takes that pass. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save there! More than half the period has expired. Still scoreless in this one. Seattle's got the win off that draw. Great hits up play with the stick by Montour. No room for that one to get through. Quick feed to Stevenson. Moving into the attacking zone. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. The Ducks played along the wing. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Tip toes around the puck check. Big time hit along the boards and there's no give there. Well, there isn't and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. And that's intercepted by Tolvanen. Made that stop. Scooped up along the wall by Tolvanen. Passes it over. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Seattle's in now. Tanev's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Handles.
loses the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Big time stop there. Oh, he blocked him. Oh, that's got to feel terrible, James. I mean, he finished his hit right through his check. And he's knocked off the puck there. Big time. It's in the back of the net. They score. And that might be an own goal. Yeah, I think you're right. I think so, James. I, I mean, goaltenders are so good at tracking the puck and fighting to find it. And I don't think he saw it or knew where it was. So his feet start swimming in the crease. And as a result, the puck goes in. That's a tough one. Anaheim's won it. Taken by Darlene. And that's offside, stopping the play. Here in the late goings of the period, Anaheim's ahead, 1-0. McCann's won the drive center. Into the offensive end now. Inside the final minute of the first here. Great poke by Everly. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Shakes off the coverage. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Michael's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Cord's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Takes it to the front. Puts it on. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Centering feed off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Quick pass across to Faber. The Ducks have it now. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And that's blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Everly. Devastating hit into the boards, and listen to this building rattle. Moves it quickly over to Montour. Feeds the puck to Everly. And now it's over to Veneers. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. Scores! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top at the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. Decision passing is what leads to this one-timer opportunity. And it wasn't just an opportunity, James. It was a direct finish as he just slaps and hammers home. Seattle's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push. And a nice play there to get the equalizer. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Pass to Bjorkstrand. Fires it and makes the save. Pushes it across to Silverberg. Here they come. Still on the left side on the attack. And that's broken up. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Now a quick pass to Larson. Oh, just a textbook hit. Slides the puck over to Bjorkstrand. Oh! You can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Here's a shot. Great save by Decorn. 
Alexiak's got it into offensive territory. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Mahura. They gain the zone from the left side. Huge steal at his own end. Moves it to Rossi. Takes a shot. Big time stop. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Borkin. Carries the puck up through center. Seattle's playing it from the side. Oh, just a great heads up play by Tippett. Anaheim's gained the line and into the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides it diagonally to play. And he serves it across to right. Centering key. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Skates to the crease. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Moves the puck over to Larson. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Quick feed to Michael. And it's a quick pass to Enroth. With possession along the wall. And that doesn't reach the net. Moves it quickly over to Faber. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. The Ducks have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Silverberg. Shot! That's blocked by the cord. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Cheryl, the name of the game is winning, but you got to think ownership's loving these packed houses night after night after night. Show me the money, James. The concessions are lined up, and you can certainly see the colors of the team being worn by all of these people in the seats. you got to believe this franchise is pretty happy. Everly's going to play it against the half wall. Laying the body. Enros moving the puck through his own zone. And now he angles it across to Silverberg. Takes the puck. And that's blocked from someone in front. And the puck's knocked loose. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Through center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Anaheim's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. Oh, what a blocker stop on that! The Ducks have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Here's a short pass to Poldy. Oh, there's a great stop by the corn. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Uses the force on that hit. Great read on the block. Stops him with a glove. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Here in the late going to the frame, Anaheim's got a slim lead. They lead him 2-1. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Alexiak. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Champions taking it from his own end. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. 
Power stick handling in his own zone. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Moves it to Johns. Unable to reach that one. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Quick shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. The final frame of regulation has arrived. It's period number three, and it's about to go down. All right, extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is underway. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Seattle's trailing from the first two period, James, and it's not a surprise here. They look like they weren't ready to play. They weren't prepared. They haven't managed the puck at all. You can't generate any offense if you don't have the puck on your stick. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's 2-1. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. The Ducks have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Dunn's got the puck in his own zone. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Scores! And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Ducks pick up right where they left off, and look at this, a quick goal here to go up in the third. Yeah, and that's deflating for their opponent. You can see it in the body language, and that's also a signal to them that they need to continue to press attack while they're down. And a quick check knocks the puck away. Quick feed to Veneers. And he slides it quickly to Everly. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Cuts to the front, and he goes back to regroup. Larson's loving the puck. Angles it over to Alexiak. From the right side and up the middle. Takes a shot. Denies him! Chris has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Anaheim's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Slides it back to the blue line. Crisp's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Ducks lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Off the draw, they take possession. Passes over to Boldy. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Tries to feed it across. Passes over to Stevenson. The Ducks have it from their own end. Sends it over to Niskanen. The Ducks are across the line and into the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Pass across to Stevenson. Gains the zone along the right wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Excellent stick work on the play. 
Nice zone entry on the left side. The pass out front. He scores! What a play! Well, this is a, just a great job all the way around. Net front James battling for position. Quick hands to be able to get on the puck and quickly release it and have an accurate shot at that in tight. Great goal. The Ducks continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. We've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Dunn. And now he moves it quickly to Tanev. On the attack along the boards. Oh, by Dunn. Steps into all of that. Dishes it off. Play is called for offside. The Ducks can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Anaheim's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Here's a shot, and there's the save. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. He stopped it! Oh, he stopped him. Oh, he's like a rubber band, James. I thought he was out of the net, but he finds his way back in to make that save. More than half the period left to play. Anaheim's got a three-goal lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Korg's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battled, when you have will your opponent, everyone... Oh, what a chance here! Slides it across! Oh, they can't complete the pass. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game! Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's out what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Anaheim's added yet another one here to the total tonight. And what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Crossley for the puck, and he loses control. Nice poke check. Anna Hines got the puck along the boards. Right in the low slot, and he hangs on to the puck. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to McCann. And here's a chance. Scores! Look at those rally caps on. Uh, everyone's going to need that one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one, but it all starts with one goal. If they can layer it, find a way to get another one quickly, you never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. Seattle's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Jabs the puck away. Seattle's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it over to Faber. Seattle's got the puck in their own end. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Anaheim's on the attack. From against the wall into the open ice. Gets in front of it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. San Jose is up next on this home stand, and this should be a fun one. A few tickets still remain for this one. You know we'll be here. Hope to see you as well.
The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Anaheim's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out to the back of the net. And does it again! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Great save from in tight. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Ducks wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Stevenson's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Into the attacking area from the left side. Blocked in traffic. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Slittering feed! And that goes off a stick! Wax it into the offensive zone. And he keeps possession. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Alexiak. Here they come on the attack. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Slides it across to Brink. Strong use of the body. Dumps it in. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. The Ducks' top line is coming onto the ice. They've been so effective. Their chemistry is unbelievable. They have a ton of motion, and they're real tough to defend. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Corgan. That knocks him off the pump. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The lies of in front. Late goings of this period. Anaheim's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. Michaels won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, what a shot on the one-timer to put it home. Well, this goal is evidence how critical face-offs are, and this is a clean win, a set play, actually, and it's just an explosive one-timer that beats the goaltender clean. The Ducks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Throws it to the crease! And a great save! This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. The Ducks are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Slides it across! Point to point pass. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this bar tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They made money for this ticket, and if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there, but you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. The Ducks probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right like from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. If they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Penny, they coming up here. Well, it's been a complete blowout, James. Now you take a penalty and it stops the clock. It's a frustrating night. You just want to move on. Get it over to 
Silverberg. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James.